In this full overview video, we will talk about what to expect in taking the NRNP classes at Walden University. You have done all your nursing core classes and your nursing specialization classes. You are over it. You are tired. I get it. You just can't wait to finish. You need to take four NRNP classes in order for you to graduate from the program. They are three credit courses. This is the didactic part of the program, meaning it is a lecture and discussion course. You normally take this with the practicum slash clinical rotation classes. However, if you can't find a preceptor or you choose to bang out the didactic portion first, you can take the didactic class individually or by twos. Here are the course number slash course information as of 2022 slash 2023 with a bit of what I experienced. Note that the course number may change, but the course title normally stays the same. NRNP6635 Psychopathology and Diagnostic Reasoning is one of the hardest out of the four NRNP class. I think because it was a very different from the other classes, it introduced me to writing a full psychiatric assessment. Also, I wasn't really prepared for the type of exams they provided. The exams were horrible. I didn't really know how to study for them. You are going to be using more of the DSM-5, so please make sure you have access to it. This course will prepare you to write a full, comprehensive psychiatric evaluation, enhance your critical thinking, formulate a plan of care, and identify differential diagnosis. This is where you write more SOAP type report. This course is all about writing. You are either assigned or you can pick a video case to analyze all throughout the course. You basically treat it as if you are the clinician and the patient presented with a disorder. NRMP6645 Psychotherapy with Multiple Modalities. I really enjoyed this class as this opened my knowledge about different types of therapy. I was getting the hang of it and I was able to swim above water. You continue on with a full comprehensive psychiatric evaluation. You also will have to learn how to make a psychotherapy genograms. Don't worry, this would be a one-time thing only. You also have to create a PowerPoint about a specific disorder. This course is more about research about a specific disorders and writing about them. Keynote for the exams, know your therapy or group therapy type. NRMP665 Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner Care Across the Lifespan 1 As the course title says, it's Across the Lifespan Pediatrics was introduced, more differential diagnosis exercises. The exams are a bit calmed down at this point in my opinion. Information about prescribing to children and adolescents you also focus on reflecting about psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner certification exam you get to make a blog post don't worry it's fake you are just playing pretend you enhance your soap writing skills you will create a study guide on your assigned disorder and you get to share it with your colleagues pro tip for exams Know your disorder and their presentations. NRNP6675 Psychiatric Mental Health and Nurse Practitioner Care Across the Lifespan 2 Pretty much part 2 of 6665. I feel like in this class, it was more of preparing you for your licensure. The exam was a totally super easy compare from the other courses. At the end, you do need to create a portfolio and that took a while for me to do. So if you remember to do this, 
please work on week 10 as soon as you start your class so you are not stressing when the time comes. Heavy focus on being a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, the billing, the coding, the scope of work, the legal and ethical issues. You are going to continue on your focus soap notes for specific disorders. You also touch based on pregnant women and psychiatric uh, medication. Test tip, know your scope of work as an advanced practice RN and the legality. I hope this video scared your anxiety away. Stay blessed everyone. See you in the next video. Paalam!